we are going to work through ways of finding a missing angle on a triangle. So we have been working on classifying triangles based on sides and based on angles. So for a little challenge today, we're going to play find the missing angle. So there are two ways you can go about solving that. You can uh, start by, first of all, knowing that all triangles no matter whether they're acute triangles, right triangles, or obtuse triangles, when you add up all of the inside angles, those are called the interior angles, when you add up all of the interior angles, you will always get 180 degrees, no matter what. So to solve that, you can start with your 180 degrees, and you can take away your other two angles. So you could do, like in this example, Angle A is 37 degrees and angle B is 24 degrees. So to solve that, you do 180 minus 37 minus 24. Or you can add up 37 plus 24 and then find the third angle by doing 180 minus that. So we're going to work through uh, some of those problems. So our first one we're going to look at together. We're going to start with some things that we know. First of all, it does only give us one number, but we know that shape. We know that shape is going to be 90 degrees. So based on what we know, we can do 180 minus 52 minus 90 to get our answer. I uh, think it's a little easier by starting by going 90 plus 52 and to try to find that. So we get 90 plus 52, 0 plus 2 is 2, and 9 plus 5 is 14, so we get 142 degrees. And now we do 180 plus 142. And to do that, we solve, and we have to borrow solve our problem and 10 minus 2 is 8 7 minus 4 is 3 so our missing angle y equals 38 so that's how we solve our problems for the remainder of the problems, you are going to solve them and then we will work through the answers. So as you're going through, make sure you pause uh, your video to give you some time to calculate. Uh, it should pause it for you as well. Uh, give yourself time, calculate the problem. Don't just make a guess. Don't try and rush through this. For this one, we need to find angle C. Again, knowing that is a symbol for 90 degrees, we start with 90 plus 25, and we get 115 degrees. So then we solve 180 minus the right symbol, 115. So to do that again, we need to borrow, and we get 10 minus 5 is 5, 7 minus 1 is 6, so C equals A very poorly drawn 65. On to our next shape. This one we do not have a 90 degree angle. 
So we start with what we do know. We know 70 plus 50. And when we solve that, 7 plus 5 is 12. Put a 0 on the end, we get 120. Then we solve 180 minus 120. And the nice thing with this one, we don't need to do any new groups. We get a 0. 8 minus 2 is 6. So in this case, our angle A equals 60 degrees. Little different calculations, not as many zeros on this one. We start with what we know, 71 plus 38. 8 plus 1 is 9, 7 plus 3 is 10. So we get 109 degrees. So we go with our 180 minus 109. And again, to solve that, we need to borrow from the tens place. Ten minus nine is one. Seven minus zero is seven. So in this one, angle X is equal to seventy-one degrees. For our next shape, we're going to do a little quick learning. So in this case, we are going to do, we've got a line right here. We're going to do, that does not help me. There we go. If we look where our red line is, notice how I've put together two 90 degree angles just to show you uh, not only does a triangle equal 180 degrees, but a flat line also equals 180 degrees. The reason I tell you that is it's going to help us solve the next problem. So knowing the line is 180 degrees, use that information to see. When you see a line, you're going to get one side of an angle, but try and use that to help you solve the other side. For this problem, we're going to try to figure out what h equals, but to do that, we need to figure out what that equals. So there was a reason that I told you we needed to know that a flat line is 180 degrees. We have something called a supplementary angles. They're complementing each other, so we need to figure out the interior angle. So we need to do 180 minus 148 to be able to first figure out what our missing inside interior angle is. So we have to do our borrowing. 10 minus 8 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. So that means this angle is 32 degrees. So now we go about just like we did on the other ones. We solve what we know. 56 plus 32 is 88. And then we do our 180 degrees inside minus 88 to solve that. We do need to do some extra ungrouping here. So 10 minus 8 is 2, but I can't do 7 minus 8, so I need to make that 17 minus 8 is 9. So our angle H is 92 degrees, and that is how you figure out angles of the interior of a triangle.